What's going on, nation? Here's another great chest workout for you guys. Now we're gonna do five exercises. We're gonna do three sets, six to eight reps per set. And what you guys also wanna do is try and find a workout partner so you can guys do those forced repetitions that I talked about. Forced repetitions help you get stronger. So when you're struggling to get the six, seven and eight will come naturally if you have a partner sparring you. So get a workout partner, help increase your strength, and let's get started with this routine. Now this is a chest routine. Personally, I like doing all my chest in one day. Depending on your schedule or if you like combining other body parts into this routine, I usually always do abs when I do the chest. Some people like to incorporate their triceps when they do chest because they're using a lot of your triceps when you're doing the pushing motions. So if you want to combine, that's fine. See what works best for you. But for the demonstration part, I'm just going to show you five exercises, three sets per exercise and I'm gonna do just the chest exercises, all right? So first thing first is we're gonna do a flat bench. Now, a lot of flat benches have different adjustments that you can do to them. This flat bench machine has pegs. And what you wanna do is make it so that when you lay down, the bar is just high enough so you can get it off the pegs. And to change it, all you do is pull these out and you can adjust the height, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna lay down, keep your feet Firm on the ground, take your middle finger and put it on these two lines right here. Now it might vary depending on your height, but usually it's about middle finger on there for a regular bench press. And what you're gonna do is pick up the bar. You're gonna now kinda tuck your lats, or tuck your shoulders down, so that it brings more of your lats into the exercise. You can actually push more weight. You're gonna keep your wrist straight, and then you're gonna come down to about right here. Try and keep the bar in line with the center of your chest, and you want to go about 90 degrees down and breathe out the way up. Just like this. Keep your wrist straight, and you're gonna do six to eight repetitions. As soon as you're done, you're gonna put the bar up, and you're gonna wait about 30 to 45 seconds, a minute maximum, before you do your next set. And for each exercise, you're gonna wait the same thing, 30 to 45 seconds, a minute maximum before moving on to the next set for each exercise, okay? So you're gonna do three sets of a flat chest press, six to eight repetitions. The next thing you're gonna do is an incline press. Now same thing with the incline press, you're gonna adjust the pegs. You also need to adjust the seat so it's at a high enough level where you can get the bar off, and then when you're actually doing the exercise, the bar doesn't hit the pegs. So if you're really tall, Put the seat really low. If you're about mid-size like I am, put it on two or three. And again, three sets of six to eight reps. Put your middle finger on the line. Push the bar off the pegs. Bring it over your body. Tuck your shoulders down so you can bring your lats into the exercise. And you're gonna bring it down 90 degrees. Just like this. Push straight up and breathe out. Keep your wrist straight. Just like this, okay? We're gonna do three sets, six to eight reps. Same thing, 30 to 45 second break in between sets, a minute maximum. Next exercise you're gonna do is a one arm chest press. Now, this is a very unique exercise. Personally, I don't like putting clips on the flat bench and the incline. I feel no need for it as long as you keep the bar straight. However, on this exercise, you wanna make sure you put a clip on so the weight doesn't fall off while you're doing it. Now. This exercise is really going to hit your body in a different way. It's actually going to hit a lot of your core because as you can see, there's only one weight on one side. So it's going to try and pull my body off to the left. What you're going to do is get the same position you got in for the flat bench. Put your middle fingers on the lines. Now, to take this off and not fall off, lift the side without the weight first. Get a nice wide stance and then push the other side off. And then if you want to widen your grip a little bit, you can do that as well. And what you're basically gonna do is perform the same movement as you did for the, the flat chest press, and just bring one arm down, and then push straight up. Just like this. And you're gonna do six to eight reps. And now you can see why I have the clip on, because the weight would fall off if I didn't. When you're done, put the bar up, and then simply 
pick it up, spin, put it on the other side, get in position, and then do the other side. And it's a one-arm chest press. Next thing we're going to do, our fourth exercise, is we're going to do flat, we do flies on the flat bench. So it's flat bench, chest flies. Now, with this exercise, it's very important to maintain proper form because you don't want to damage your shoulders. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll back. Now you're going to keep your arms over your chest, about mid-chest. Keep your wrist straight and put a slight bend in your elbows. Get a nice wide stance. Bring them down at the same time. Keep a slight bend in your elbows. And when your hands get to about the height of your body, you're going to stop. Come back in. Squeeze your chest on the way up and breathe out on the way up. Just like this. Come down just about to your body level, and then bring it up, breathe out, <sighs> same thing. That's very important to keep that slight bend in your elbows, because if you don't, you're going to put a lot of pressure on the joint and risk damaging the joint. So same thing, six to eight reps, three sets, and the last exercise you're going to do is over the tops. And for that, you're going to get a nice sized dumbbell. It's easiest to do this exercise by putting the dumbbell on the bench and then getting down like this. And you want to keep it so just the upper part of your back is on the bench, your neck's hanging off, and you want to try and elevate your hips. And what you're simply going to do is pick it up, hold it over your body like this, let your wrists hang, don't keep them straight. And what you're going to do is bring the dumbbell over your head. Come down just below your neck and then straight up and kind of puff your chest as you bring it over you like this. Bring it down, breathe out and way up. And these are called over the tops. And again, you're going to do six to eight reps, three sets, 30 to 45 second rest between sets, a minute maximum. And that's another chest routine for you guys for muscle gain. And like I said, if you want to incorporate some triceps, go for it. If you want to do some abs, go for it. Just make sure you do the five exercises, three sets, and get a workout partner and make it the best chest workout you ever had. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.